What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have another WWE Elite Series review on the brand new Elite 61 Kevin Owens and AJ Styles. <laughs> So in today's video, guys, we are taking a look at the brand new Elite Series 61 Kevin Owens and AJ Styles. Guys, these figures look incredible. I'm very excited. Um, I do have some gripes about Kevin Owens. I don't know exactly how I feel about the head scan just yet, but we're going to get into it. We're going to, you know, take a very close look and see how I feel about it in the end. Very hyped for this AJ Styles. One of my favorite attires he has ever worn to the ring, and I got some cool accessories that we're going to throw on there with him that I got from a guy who scammed me. There's some cloth accessories we're going to throw on there to, I think, come complete the figure and it's going to be absolutely beautiful but uh we're going to be reviewing both of these figures and it's kind of crazy because both of these guys were feuding um when they were wearing these attires over the united states championship so it's sort of like a two-in-one deal and speaking of two-in-one deal i don't know if it's posted just yet but there's a link in my description that you can go buy both of these figures in a bundle from amazon and um, it really supports the channel guys so if you want to pick these two up i don't know if they're available just yet they were supposed to be available yesterday but they were not so if you want to go over there and check that link and um, in the description and see if they're available just yet, definitely go check that out. I believe all of Elite 61 is going to be available very soon through that link. So definitely use that link in the description, guys. It really helps the channel out, and it will uh, do wonders so you guys can pick up the brand new Elite 61. But uh, these figures look incredible, guys. I'm very excited to pick up Elite 61. The video I posted last night, guys, is a, I have a ton of info in there about SummerSlam weekend and where you can get these in uh, in. Brooklyn. If you're attending the event, you definitely want to go check that out. I'll pop up a picture here and some info for you to go click that. But uh, anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get straight into this review. So here's the Phenomenal One and Kevin Owens out of their packaging, guys. And um, to be honest, I love these figures. I love the AJ Styles to death. I'm going to get into that in just a few moments. But um, this Kevin Owens head scan, not my favorite. I think my eyes are just a little bit off-centered. Like when they printed it on there, I think they were offset. We'll get into that in just a second, though. And um, I guess we're going to cover their accessories together. Just because we've seen all this stuff before, there's not anything really special about the accessories. So uh, we'll cover both of their accessories at one time, and then we'll go into Kevin Owens, then we'll look at a detailed look at AJ Styles. So let's go ahead and take a look at their accessories together. Alright guys, so taking a closer look at their accessories together, we did get the United States Championship with Kevin Owens. You would think this would come with AJ Styles considering his attire is America, but uh, this did come with Kevin Owens. We've seen this a hundred times. You guys know about the United States Championship. Kevin Owens also came with this mic right here, the WWE logo mic, the uh, you know the network logo, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we've seen that before. And then of course we do have his uh, hoodie right here, which we've seen with AJ Styles before. This came with the Elite 51. I believe this even came with the Elite 56. So we have seen this hoodie here. Um, I wish it had like the America P1 on it. That would make it a little bit differently. You do get the two different hoodie options. You know, you have the down version and then you have the up version. And um, I don't even use these things. I'll probably sell it because I like to use my cloth ones. They just look a lot better, better posing, aka or ETC, whatever you want to say. But that's pretty much their accessories, guys. Nothing too special. You know, we've seen all of this, like I said before. So let's move on to the Kevin Owens. Alright guys, taking a closer look at Elite 61 Kevin Owens. I do have quite a few, you know, uh, gripes about this figure. I mean, it's not a perfect figure by all means. We do have this brand new head scan, which I want to zoom in on because, uh, yeah, we're gonna, yeah, you're, you guys will see. And here it is, guys. As you can see, it's like, I don't know, I love the, the cheeks and stuff, like the facial hair on the figure looks great, but it's like the eyes are just off-centered or something. I've seen this with this True Effects technology. They'll get it right sometimes. Like, my AJ Styles is perfect, but this this one is not. You can see the eyes. Why? Why? are just slightly off center so it really messes with the head scan. If, this, if the eyes were perfect it wouldn't be so bad but I do not like the short haired look for Kevin Owens. I like the spiky haired look. It just looks a lot better. I will be head switching this and making it look a lot better in my opinion. I just think that the short hair just looks odd to me. I like his spiky hair and I'm going to be switching it to the Elite whatever the last one the Wrestlemania Elite head scan. That's probably the head scan I'll pop on there. So I do not like the head scan because of the off centered on the true effects there. I do see the likeness of Kevin Owens but with that off-center stuff and the short hair, I don't know. I'm just not that big of a fan. But going down into the body, we do have the KO right there. 
with the gray outline. This looks great. Very clean uh, decal application. And then we're going to get into another thing right here, guys, that really upsets me. Look at this tattoo on his arm. They freaking tripled the size of his tattoo. Let me go ahead and get a comparison. So as you can see, here the, here's the difference. Like, look at the difference in the WrestleMania Elite and in the brand new Elite 61. They made the Elite 61 one massive, and I'm pretty sure this one's closer. I, I feel like they even, uh, they made a different version as well if I can find uh, maybe a different figure. And here's the Elite 47, guys. I mean, look, this one's even different than the other one. So, I mean, they've made it three different sizes. I think this one right here is the best size. I'll pop up a picture. You guys can, you know, make the judgment for yourself. But I'm pretty sure that this one and even the WrestleMania Elite right here, um, these two are way more accurate than this. This is, like, massive. It's like his whole forearm is covered up by that tattoo. So, I don't know. That's, that's another gripe I have about the figure. And after that, I mean, besides, you know, massive arms that they always give him, but I'm not really gonna dock points for that because we've seen that the the figure is pretty much perfect outside of that the decals look great i like this attire the red ko and stuff but uh yeah weird head scan off center on the true effects there and then a massive tattoo right there this tattoo looks great, but they 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 just gee, they blew this one up, guys. And now let's compare the brand new Elite 61 Kevin Owens to the rest of my Kevin Owens collection. Why? 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 And that's pretty much it for my Kevin Owens Elite Figure Collection. So here's the comparison between my custom Elite Kevin Owens in this attire and then the Mattel version. As you can see, guys, the decal is like a more orangish red on this one. So I like this one a lot better, the Mattel version. And uh, I think I'm going to switch the head scans and possibly uh, switch the arms because I do not like... Um, the head scan on this one. I don't know. I just don't like the short hair again, and uh, I don't like that the uh, tattoo is so massive. I just think it'll look a lot better with this other head scan. Let me know down in the comment section below which one you prefer, guys. Do you like the True Effects one, or do you like this one over here? I really love this Kevin Owens head scan. I think it's the best one that they've made to date. A lot of people do disagree with me on that, but I don't know. That's just how I am. But uh, that pretty much does it for our Kevin Owens comparisons, guys. Now let's take a look at AJ freaking Styles. So taking a closer look at AJ Styles, guys, a lot more positive than Kevin Owens, even though I love Kevin Owens to death. One of my favorite wrestlers in the world, hands down. AJ Styles is too, but uh, yeah, this figure does not have the problems that the Kevin Owens does. Let's go ahead and get a zoom in shot of the head scan. I mean, look at this right here, guys. That is freaking beautiful right there. It's like they uh, took the Elite 56 and made it more realistic right here. I think the beard looks great. I think the face scan looks great. Got that longer hair going on there, and I like this a lot. I do dig. The only gripe I would have maybe is that it kind of looks flat right here or something. Something. It's like at this angle right here, he looks like a flat head or something like that. Don't really know what I'm saying, but uh, yeah, that is what I think right there. But it is a great looking AJ Styles hit skin. The same torso mold that they continue to give AJ Styles. I mean, I know I've complained about it every single time, and uh, I'm going to keep complaining about it even though they won't change it. I know they won't. I just do not like this uh, torso choice for AJ Styles. AJ Styles has a pretty built torso, guys, so I don't know. I mean, whatever. What, what do I know? But geez, man, right here we do have the updated tattoo they added his uh fourth daughter right here or his fourth kid which is a girl which that is why it has the little bow on there this looks really good they did a great job of getting that decal on there and I love this AJ, guys. The freaking colors on this thing. The blue is like a navyish dark blue instead of like that royal blue we got with Elite 56. And the belt design going around right here looks fantastic. On the elbow pad, we have a red P1 logo. So it is not the same uh, thing that we've seen in the past. I'm pretty sure this is the first time they've given us a red P1 logo on the elbow pad. I could be wrong. If I am wrong, assault me in the comment section below. But uh, we got this, uh, the gloves. We do have the details on here with the little uh, black triangle pattern on the two middle uh, fingers of the gloves. Got Styles on there, AJ right there. So that's the first time we've seen that. It says Styles and it says AJ on the other underside, or it's supposed to be like more down, I believe, but it is uh, closer to Styles there. And on this side, it says Styles. And then on the un underside right here, it says Styles. So it's like it says uh, AJ on the right side and Styles on the other side, even though it says Styles on both, uh, you know, outside versions. We do have the armband over here, and it has AJ on it. It's not as high as it once was. This is the first time we've seen it low like this, which is a cool little detail they threw in there. Here's the tights, and this is my favorite part of the whole figure. I mean, my God, this is just so beautiful, guys. Take a look here. 
on the uh, right side right here or the left um, from your perspective. It is AJ Styles right there in the USA. You can see the American flag in there. You got the red and blue stripes going down. Got some Japanese letters going in there. On the other side, we have the beautiful P1 logo with the stars going around in the uh, United States flag with the uh, lines flip right here. So it's blue on the outside and red on the inside instead of the, uh, or it's the same. It's the same. I'm a stupid idiot. Yes. Why? Why? But going down into the kick pads, guys, they did not put knee pads on this son of a gun. We're going to be putting knee pads on this son of a gun. I promise you that. I do promise that. We're going to get that. And coming down into the kick pads, it's kind of crazy, guys. They have phenomenal on this side. Same blue color that we've seen. At the top, you'll see they added, like, red paint. And then I investigated a little bit. And if you push the uh, if you push the ankle joint down, you will see that they have red joints in there. And I don't know if they molded this in the red color and then painted it over it. I don't know what that is, but they did, uh, you can see. And uh, at, right here at the ankle, you're gonna see where they stopped painting. I don't know why, but on the blue, they did not complete it all the way down the kick pad, as you see right here. Like, see, it's half black, and there's a black stripe right there. And on the other side, I believe it's the same thing. So I don't know if that's accurate to the attire or what, but on this side, it's the same thing with the red. So I don't know if they're just trying to make it, um, make that, you know, uh, kick pad, uh, whatever you want, loop. It's smaller going onto the boot, I guess. But uh, I don't know. That's kind of weird. I wish it would have filled in, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. They're, gonna, they're not going to mold new to uh, kick pads for us. But anyways, guys, that pretty much does it for the review of the AJ. So now let's go ahead and go to the next thing. And here's the new Elite 61 AJ Styles up next to the rest of my AJ Styles Elite figure collection. And then we can't forget about my bum foot AJ Styles. All right, guys, so as you can tell with the Elite 56 AJ Styles and the brand new Elite 61, I don't know exactly which one I like better. I mean, my goodness, both of them are such good head scans. Uh, this one's more realistic probably, but this one right here I feel like has more lightness to them. You see they're slightly different. It's like this one's more realistic looking, and then this one's more cartoony. But I don't know. I kind of like the cartoony one more. I don't know. Let me know down in the comment section below which one you like more. Which AJ Styles Elite figure do you like overall more? I mean, my God, they're both beautiful. I don't know. I feel like Elite 56 is very strong, guys. Uh, Elite 61 is great, but I don't know if it can take the cake over Elite 56. I also like the Network Spotlight, and I also love my uh, custom MDT live style, you know, uh, AJ Styles. But uh, let's go ahead. And I have some accessories I want to throw on this guy real quick because I want to show you guys what that looks like. It absolutely looks beautiful. I got a camo uh, hoodie vest for this guy to wear, and I wanted to see what it looked like on this attire. I know that this is not the camo attire, but uh, I think it'll look bad A with the camo vest uh, j entrance jacket on there. I mean, my God, look at that. Oh, Jesus Christ. Look at that. That is freaking beautiful. Oh, yeah, that's beautiful, guys. Look at that right there. 360, got the camo entrance hoodie on there. And uh, now AJ Styles is looking flames. I also have this Flames Phenomenal One camo t-shirt that looks fire on this uh, figure as well. So, I mean, you also got that. That looks great. And uh, there's one more little comparison I want to do. So, guys, I know a lot of people say the Sin Cara torso works best for AJ Styles. And I cannot debate that. I mean, I think the Sin Cara torso would be in a perfect world. But since they've already given us this style torso in the, you know, Mizdow uh, color skin, which is the same AJ, is the same skin tone as AJ Styles, why not give us this body and give him, like, a bigger bold or a bigger mold? Because I don't know, guys. I just don't think. They make him way too tiny. He's so short and he's so small. AJ Styles, this is pretty Pretty much what his torso looks like. I mean, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty freaking accurate to AJ Styles. I don't know. I could be an idiot, but let me know down in the comment section below. I know for a fact this is way too small, though. I do not like this. Way too much chest and stomach hair and not enough muscle and build for AJ Styles. But that pretty much does it for this 2-in-1 WWE Elite Series 61 figure review. Guys, thank you so very much for watching. I would recommend both of these figures. I like the Kevin Owens a lot. Maybe you wouldn't get, you know, a misplaced eye scan, you know, press on, whatever the hell is going on with that head scan. Maybe you won't have the same luck that I did, and I know a lot of people like that head scan over my opinion, so uh, definitely check it out for yourself. But uh, AJ Styles is definitely flat. Guys, my god, what a freaking fire figure that is. I mean, th this thing is beautiful. Look at the camo vest. Look at the freaking U.S. title on this thing. Beautiful specimen of a figure. Definitely on the top figures of the year, hands down, along with the Elite 56 that we saw last year. So definitely want to pick up the Elite 61. Go to that link in the description, guys, and check it out. See if it's on Amazon yet. 
If it's not, then uh, come back later and check it. Save that link and go to that link. Help out the channel and definitely go pick up your Elite 61. Also, if you're attending SummerSlam or you're, you live in the Brooklyn area, Friday, August 17th from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m., the Treasure Truck is going to be at Brooklyn Cyclone Stadium, and you can go there and you can purchase Elite 61. Also, check out that link and try to buy them on, on Amazon. I don't know if they're up yet again, but they might be. So you definitely want to check that link in the description, guys. And if it's not up, I will be updating you guys to when it is up. So definitely be on the lookout. Thank you guys for watching the video. Leave a like if you enjoyed the review or these figures. Comment down below which of the figures you like most. Are you going to be picking up both of them or one of them? Let me know down in the comment section below. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.